Now today my thoughts are those of warning and call to everyone to look within. Even amongst the reflections on our yearning for chaos and destruction, still however remain silently optimistic that we will see sense. So please forgive my tones of deep disappointment and anger and instead ponder on the message. See my thoughts along with myself are very troubled these days. There is something happening so pernicious that it is eroding the minds of the sane. We are forsaking our past and taking blind strides to remove it from existence without understanding or learning from it. Now we are the sum of all that was before us. All of those experiences and cognitive evolution has led us here. And now we seek to remove it and replace it with new absolutism. It seems to me that we have not learned from the past. Our lives are without purpose. And we seem to fill it with this hollow piety, this which is not within the realms of logic and reason, this that is nothing but self-destructive. Nothing good comes from tearing and erasing our shared past without understanding and appreciating the steps that has led us here and for what reason. To replace it with what? A new utopia, an imagined utopia whose inhabitants risk all to escape from? That utopia? I mean, we're dealing in dangerous times. This could be the beginnings of something we will deeply regret if not awoken from this fevered madness. Individually and collectively, the guilt of our mistakes now will bear witness on the tarnished lives of our children and their children's children. This is not goodness that you imagine. This is self-indulgence. This is narcissism. This is projection of self-hatred because we fail to understand the essence of our very being and have forgotten the taste of tears of those who endured all so that we may not have to suffer. See, monopolies, whatever scenario they exist in, eventually bring cruelty and demand absolute fealty, and we should be wary of them. Whether it is us who profit from them or some other, it may benefit a cause for a certain time to push or direct something that was needed but unchecked prolongation of it only leads to restricting the free exploration of our own paths. It makes us a prisoner, a slave to our own selves or the other. They are hardly ever about money as well, these monopolies. They are about power and control. So do not fool yourself um, in thinking monopolies are created by money. And if you remove money as a frame of our social contract of service rendered and received, that you will get rid of monopolies. If money is a vehicle by which power can be attained, then it will use it. Whatever is the currency of the day, it is only a tool for it and it will use it. In the name of false righteousness and good, it will repurpose and it will propose to know better. We have known this before. We have been under the strict thumb of the churches before. We dispel them and chose freedom to understand our own existence. But now we have built new churches, churches that don't even hold any good, that don't show us the way to our salvation, churches that keep us confused, that divide us so we pay no heed to the new monopolies of power that are being created to rule over us. These are the churches of chaos, and their priests deal only in hatred, and they make devil of all those that challenge their spiraling madness. What is it that you do not see? What is it that you are so willing to ignore? Do you wish only to see the world burn so that you do not have to face yourself? They have distributed many labels for you and validated many more that you create for yourself. Have them and fight over them. But I see none of those labels saying human. Because once you start predetermining your thoughts to a conclusion of a conversation you never had, 
you are no longer worthy of the evolution that has brought you thus far. You are nothing but a robot, a mindless zombie, a cog in the machine of those you have unwittingly deemed your betters. You have made yourself worthless and expendable. What do you not know about the tyranny of the past? The millions of souls that either chose to be made into just a cog or were forced into them. Their suffering and their pain. Something that still goes on in the present in nations you seem to revere. A people whose only fault has been to be alive. What good is prosperity if someone else controls your thoughts and your actions? What is it? You dream of being equal, equally miserable and helpless? Equally unable to make your own decisions and breathe the air of freedom? Freedom? Has that word become so alien to you? Do you think your current actions will be tolerated when your hellish utopia is made true? There is no justice here. There is no fight for the good. There is nothing but fools and those that make fools out of you. Look within and see what you are losing each day as you plunge deeper into your hatred. We have become very confused and disjointed from reality. Swimming in the everlasting seas of the virtual world, we are forgetting what it is to be human. We see every point as an attack vector to shut down conversations that might highlight our own incompetencies and incapabilities in life. Anything in life that demands us to take personal responsibility, we run away from. Blame the entire universe rather than have a bit of introspect. Helping newfound monopolies grow stronger in their hold. Making ourselves a prisoner to our own creations. Locking ourselves deep in the cells of chaos. And handing over the keys to those that control this virtual world and those that use that control to exert power. A world where reality is shunned and vilified. As a society, we need to find a purpose and a reason within us to reflect into the world outside of us. For too long we have taken the outside to give purpose to the inside. The exploration within need to be the highest priority of every conscious living being. We need to lead ourselves to a better place, both in our hearts and our lives. Those that restrict you after you are an adult do not wish you well and if they do, they only do it as long as it benefits their control and power. You know this to be true. Please, meditate and think on it. Do not plunge to your own destruction. Thank you for listening.